but never until now. The real, the true miracle of live theater. It is like nothing that has ever happened to you before. When Earth Up Players brings you the spew wonder of the entertainment world, every astounding scene comes as close as the person six feet away from you. And you are part of the living drama that takes you into the upside down world of the wisdom of Oz. A cast of your fairy fairy tale characters as you never have seen them before. Adventure! Comedy!
sleep on it. Yeah, so if you still want to leave, I guess you can. Hmm. No harm, I guess. Oh, I need some shut eye. Lulu, Lola. Mm. Mm. Remember, I am a witch, a good witch, of course, but I can still cast spells. Come this night, a dream to you, a dream so vivid and a dream so true. A dream that I show you as clear as day for story characters who have lost their way. Let the dream begin. This is it. Oh, time to say farewell to you, my fairy tale friends. This is so sad, so very sad. For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. And nobody can deny. Oh, thank you, my dear lollipop kids. Berserk and I, 
they're gone. They have left the, the premises, and uh, I'll show you. Okay. Yep, I'll show you. Fairy tales always have a few stepmothers thrown the mix. Well, you're doing your favorites from Cinderella and Snow White.
Well, you see, we give the kids everything they want, right? But it's not for real. It's virtual. You see? So that means they go home with nothing. Isn't that great? <laughs> Is that truthful? Would a better business be moving in our stores? I don't think we have any problem. That nose will get you away. <laughs> don't worry. I'm getting it fixed. A little cosmetic surgery will make me an honest man. <laughs> JP and the pet, Jack and John speaking. Oh, hey mom. I don't want to talk, to talk right now. And a big business deal. I'll come by soon, mom. Please, don't say that! Don't say that! I gotta go. Love ya. What did your mommy say? The same old thing. What happened to that nice kid in the story? <laughs> yeah, I get that dude from Geppetto. He once told me that he liked me better as a puppet. I'm glad no one reads those fairy tales anymore. Yeah, that's all they are. Fairy tales. Lunch? Lunch. <laughs> How sad. So very sad. Yeah, it's true. These characters have lost their sense of purpose. We have to stop this unraveling. Let me see if I can help. Isn't that Alice? Yes. I believe so. I wonder what's up with Alice. Lovely Alice at the looking glass, lost. Take a look and see for yourself. What am I supposed to do now? It's so boring. What's left? I've met all the characters there are to me. The Cheshire Cat, the Queen of Hearts, the Mad Hatter, the Hare. No more adventures like boring, boring, boring. Excuse me, but if I remember correctly, wasn't it Sippy Tea that you laughed and sang with the hair in me? Beware of the people. You see? They make no sense. Then was then, and now is now, and now is just so boring. Boring? Can you say something that makes me very sad? But most of all, it makes me sorry and mad! Well, you're the Mad Hatter, aren't you? You're supposed to. What impertinence! How rude! How radically rude! Don't you know, my dear Alice, that boring is just a mood. Adventures were fun for a time, but now I think I'll just pass that time. Adventures happen day in and day out. You'll find them again without a doubt. So open your eyes and open your ears until that boring mist was clear. Oh, stop with those boring rhymes. That had her face it. There are no more adventures left. We're through. Through! If that's the case, Alice, I give you a gift. Oh, it breaks my heart to see these stories crumbling before our very eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't overdo it, you two. I didn't realize how serious this was. I was so sure everything was fine once I got Cinderella to that fall. I guess I'm a little short-sighted. She's talking to the wall again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. Uh, we just let these stories slip through our hands. Isn't there one fairy tale character that still can be saved? Oh, what about the fairies? Surely they haven't lost their way. Oh, funny thing, isn't it? The idea behind most of these stories is that the characters lose their way at the beginning of the story. And by the end, found their way. And now they're lost again. Oh, this is wearing me out. I don't know about you guys, but I could use an intermission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You got it, Ozzy. We will now take a 10 minute intermission. So please take this time to use the restroom.
Welcome back, folks. We are now starting the show, so please, please sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. We are, we are now going to see the fairies. Have the fairies have lost their way too? I don't know. Let's find out.
gone. Ever since she left, she hasn't seen any of us but once, ever since she married the prince. Come on now, let's not be hard on her. Maybe she just has a lot to do at the palace. You know, oil stuff. She doesn't need to be with skin, you know. She can't come to a lily cottage. Wretched wrinkle on my forehead? Oh my, oh my, what's this? An ugly gray hair atop my head? How can I keep being the fairest one of them all with all these ugly little things popping up all over the place? I must get some face cream immediately. Oh, well, well, well. Who let you in? Oh, I mean, I'm just so startled to see you all. We've been so happy that we can see you now. Oh, well, I would try not to smile. At least, smile lines. You haven't laughed that much. I try to avoid laughter. At least, laugh lines. You're not mad at us for coming, are you, Snow? Mad? No, no, I can't be mad. The wrinkles on my whole face. We brought you a gift, Snow. Gifts? Oh, I love gifts. Is it diamonds? They sparkle and light up my beauty. Um, uh, it's not diamonds now, uh, guess again. I'm in no mood for your riddles, riddles. I think that made riddles sad. Well, I'm sorry, but I have no time for riddles filling this. So, what gift did you bring me? Uh, we got you flowers, uh, FTD, a fairy tale delivery service. Oh, flowers, <laughs> how charming. Speaking of charming, I must get back to the prince, prince charming. Well, it was lovely seeing you all again. Do drop in again. Oh, charming! Prince Charlie! Mother and wife, daughter. Romance at last. But wait. What's the prince seven? Prince Charming, do you hear? Call your Prince Charming. Prince Charming! Prince Charming! <laughs> <laughs> Charming, I've never liked that name. Fairy tale after fairy tale, they refer to me as Charming. What's that supposed to mean? Now let's look at the word itself. Let's see, rhetorical, uh, you know. Ah, here it is, Charming. Delightful, pleasant, irresistible. It makes me sound like I'm t an ice cream car. <laughs> a chocolate caramel ice cream car. <laughs> well, I'm not a, a cone or a caramel. I'm a person who just wants to do what right in the world. I'm tired of slaying dragons, uh, for damsels in distress, the idea. Putting on the last slippers, waking up sleeping in front of them with a kiss. What's the purpose of it all? So that I end up being happily ever after? And so, the good cow is a faraway fairy tale kingdom. No, I'm going to be tagged with the Prince Charming designer.
was a great performance. And I think they deserve another round of applause. Those of you who were here yesterday may have noticed a growth from yesterday. They're an extraordinary cast. They are an extraordinary cast. And as I said in the director's notes, we've had a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. And they learned to overcome it. They learned, I believe, when you want something to happen, it's work, and it can be done. It's a lot of work, but it can be done. And I hope that's a life lesson for all of us. When we want something, we will make it happen. We will find ways to make it happen. And they have, and I personally have. This has been a journey, a really difficult journey. Now, they're putting away their costumes because it's very important for us not to gather within the building. So those of you who were here last night know that you're going to meet your character, your We'll say goodnight outside and meet your uh, actors outside. So once again, please give them another round of applause. <laughs> Thank you again, and I think they're ready. So you can meet them. Just try to keep some social distancing as you do. Some of you are